So soul callings. This has got to be the biggest topic that I get asked about. And I totally get it because it's just, you know, we're all kind of like, what's my purpose? What am I here for? What's my soul calling? And I must say myself, I spent like since I was a young teenager thinking like, what am I here to do? What's the reason I'm here? And the thing that I've learned, which changes that completely, is the fact that our soul is always calling us. There is not this big one answer where it's just like, oh my gosh, that's it. And where I feel like most people trip up, like my clients and even like people who contact me on, on Facebook or my friends, is that we're waiting for this perfect plan, like this end point. We, we want to know exactly what the outcome is and we want to know exactly what every single step is along the way, all the big steps before we actually embark on what our soul is calling us to do. But our soul is always calling us. The, the, the twist that we need to do is actually show up and answer to those baby calls. Because those baby calls, actually, when we say yes to that, yes to that, yes to that, every single day, before we know it, we end up right in the center of our, of our soul's calling and our purpose and a life that is completely aligned and that lights us up. So my, my biggest advice to anyone who asks me, how do I find my soul calling, my soul purpose, is to, to just follow the baby calls every day. The best way I know to follow those baby calls is to meditate every single day. I've got a free meditation on my website. You're welcome to download that or use whatever type of meditation you want. It can be a written meditation, but really carving out a non-negotiable 10 minutes every day to really get in communion with what your soul is, is, is kind of calling you towards or niggling you about. If you do that and say yes to it, I promise you within a year, you'll be well on your way to living the life that you're born to live.